Hello traders, so on today's video we are going to analyze volatility time index and first of all we're going to look at the higher time frame of which is the daily and then if you don't have the broker that I use, use the link in the description below and make sure that you join the free group. So as you can see from the top of the structure we have this high point, then we have the slope of which it gave us a change of character around this point and then after having this change of character around this area and I'm gonna use like AC so that you can get to know that this is a change of character so let's just do this C for the change of character then as you can see here we had the double top liquidity then we had this low and then we had this lower high around that point of which it mitigated like some type of an area of value around here then we had like this as our liquidity seep right there then this is our lower high of which we created equal lows around this point as you can see this is a liquidity sweep just because this is not a candle close or a body close that is why it is a liquidity sweep right there so i'm going to use an x at the bottom and then after that that is when we had the break of structure around this point here we had the break of structure just like this and I'm going to use EP on this one so that you can see that this is a break of structure. And then as you can see here, this is our new low just because we failed to create a low here. And we created a higher low. And then we have a lower low around that point. So the market pushed to the upside around this area to mitigate this previous high point around here. And as you can see, we just swept above this area just to reach like this point here just because we had like some type of a fair value gap on the daily time frame around that point and we have a new break of structure around this area of which this is our new swing low and swing high and then we have our swing low here lower high lower low around this point here sorry about that this is not a clear low so this is the low that we have and then we have the lower high then we have the lower low then we have the higher high around that point of which it gave us like some type of a change of character so let me just do this to move all of these here and this was the change of character on the daily so i'm gonna use a c also just to Make sure that you all see. And after we had that change of character, you can see that the market respected this high here. They didn't break this high. And then we went back with another change of character to the downside. And I'm gonna use another C here, just like this. And it's at the bottom. Just like this. And if you want a video on how to structure or how to use like structure, make sure that you drop a comment saying structure. So as you can see, we had a change of character and then we had another change of character of which this is our high and then this is our new low. And after having the change of character, you can obviously use the fit tool if you want. Just like this, you already know how to use the fit tool. And as you can see, we reached that 50% uh, mark and then we hit the golden zone very slightly before we can push to the downside so as you can see from the last point here this is the golden zone for us to look for those nice selling opportunities so this is our new lower high and then we have the lower low around that point and then this is a clear break of structure to the downside as you can see we have the body close on the daily time frame like i said make sure that you use like the highest time frame so that you can get to understand the structure that you're trading so as you can see here we have our break of structure and the market came to uh, reach like this point here as you can see from the low from the high to the low we just didn't reach like that area of like the 50 percent or the golden zone so we had another break of structure around this point this is our protected low as you can see we broke the structure and the market started pushing to the upside to just mitigate like an area of value 
I think around this point here. Around this point, then that is when we sold off. So as you can see, this is the overall market structure that we have on the daily time frame. So I'll use another B around there. And this is let's see, just because you have to count the candles so that you can see that this is a low. So as you can see, this is the low. This is the low here, of which this is the lower high, and this is the lower low. So which means this is a clear break of structure to the downside on the lower time frame, guys. Ne? So this is a clear break of structure around here. Let me just use the B. Just like that. And we have the overall structure that we're going to use on the lower time frame. So as you can see, the market was just pushing to the downside. We mapped out like the overall structures from the top to the low. To the low or to the bottom so let's switch to the four hour time frame so as you can see on the four hour time frame we clearly had this as our overall break of structure around there of which it was not that valid as you can see we didn't have like a candle or a body close around here of which this should be a sweep instead of a break and then this is the initial break that we're going to use and as you can see here we had a nice mitigation of that supply area and the market gave us this lower low here like i said the lower low and we expect the market to come to an area of value let's see if we can have like areas that we can use for us to take like those nice selling opportunities and as long as you have two equal lows around this point, as you can see, we didn't break the low. We just sweep the liquidity. This is a very high probability setup, whereby it will move very nicely to the downside just because we fail to break the low, which means it's very strong. And we expect the market to just come back and mitigate the top of the structure. So as you can see here, we have the 50% mark of which the market came back, gave us the low. And then it came back to the upside of which it mitigated this supply area but failed to break this low point here of which that is a signal to us that these lows here are holding a lot of liquidity and then whenever the market decides to push to the downside it will be massive so as you can see here these are the lows that i'm talking about and the extreme zone or the golden zone it's a nice fair value gap on the four hour time frame so this is the four hour fair value gap and if you don't know fair value gaps it's just a gap guys it's just um imbalance so as you can see here from this low candle this candle here this candle week and this candle week here do not meet so this is the imbalance that i'm talking about or the fair value gap so this is where uh, we're going to look for setups and the extreme supply area is this one here or the extreme other block so let's just do this just to make sure that we are catering for everything so that's uh, the fvg fvg for fair value gap and we have the supply zone around the top of the structure supply zone just like that and i'll update you on the setup guys if it works out nicely or if it doesn't work out nicely i'll just keep all, i'll just keep you all updated about like each and everything that i share with you so that you can learn from the videos that i drop so as you can see here these are the areas that we want to uh look for or want to look for those nice selling opportunities and this can be the idm or this can be the idm guys as you can see here or the inducement in this case so the idm and the idm normally means that people will get into the market very early around this point just because it's a nice supply zone as you can see and most traders will just come to enter around this point whereby it will just push to the upside take them out and then that is when we're going to get those nice sales around the fair value gap or the supply zone we don't know if uh, which one was is going to hold whenever the market reaches like those areas so it's nice to have like this type of setup from the higher time frame so let's look at the one hour 
so as you can see on the one hour time frame this is the setup that we have guys this is really a beautiful setup and then you can see like at the top also we still have like some type of a supply area that we can use so around this point we're just going to be expecting the internal structure to just continue pushing to the upside and hit this area maybe have like a change of character and that is when you can start looking for those nice selling opportunities using that change of character around this point the C at the bottom obviously or around the top of the structure and then so that you can be safe guys make sure that you use like a change of characters or market structure shifts just because the internal structure will be bullish and then you will be expecting a shift from a bullish market to a bearish market of which this is the change of character that we're talking about so let's just do this and yeah this is the overall setup that we have and you already know that at the top also you'll be expecting the same market structure shift so that you can look for those nice selling opportunities on volatility 10 index so yeah that is it for today's video and i'll see you on another one guys i hope you enjoyed this one make sure that you click the like button and subscribe if you haven't and make sure that you drop a nice comment in the comment section